Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Forgot to hit send. Does it matter? I already told him about it. Better late than never. Tracer fluid. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. There it is. It feels like milk, but the taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear him. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole... You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? 
<laughs> I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Place, right? It must be. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? What the hell is this place? How did I get here?
working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you to Theta safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? up to 3, including pilot seat activated. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you, Bard. 
rushed into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Security cipher. Updated. What was that? It, it doesn't hurt anymore.
Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <sighs> I hear you. Uh, Absalom, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Ah, oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh some place dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in the thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here.
What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I know, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Are you human? Shit, did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save the mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. So, where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy! Okay, okay, I, I'm, ju I'm just gonna be... I I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here! See? Okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You really hung up on appearances, you know that? How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, promoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields and... That's my last clear memory. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Listen, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. Find someone who can help. I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor.
move. But it can't leave the plant without supervision. Adams decided to leave Amy and Saru and Kansanka to execute the automatization process. And I bet they're thrilled about it. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know we're on schedule and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. I'll pass on the mole check. Chelsea, I'll be going for an evac, am I right? It will do. I wanted to introduce you to Amy and Co. They'll be doing the talking as soon as I leave for Theta. Say hello. Hey, Theta. Hello. Hey, guys. I'm Peter Strass, doing dispatcher at Theta. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I suppose that's it. I'll see you real soon. When we arrive. All right, Johnson. Have a safe trip. Hey. Hello? Theta? Absalon. What's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, site service engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center. And if you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I, I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make do. Got you later. Hello? Peter, was it? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yeah, we'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> good, I like to hear. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. This is also strange. You're telling me. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Bunk one and come here. I'll wait for you. Shit, shit, shit. Where do I... What should I... Oh, fuck.
Lambda. Find the shuttle to Lambda.
shuttle still work? How did I... Where did I get a flashlight? Jackie! Come in, Theta! Uh -huh. I got a what? I can't... Where are you now? Strikey! I'm at the shuttle, but it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I, I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Somehow. Are you? Don't hurt me. Can I help? They won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help.
Standing by. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Wow, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? Jesus Christ! What the hell?
find Lambda, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? Too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When the Omni tool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. The Omni tool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connection. Uh, Catherine? All right, let's give this a try. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. Have a nice day. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. 
So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. What was it you said before? Are you from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor then? I think it's really important we do this. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do, am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is just incredible, by every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics, beyond the superficial, I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place.
I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no! It's on Earth! It's so close to fire, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get around. Great.
find a working escape vessel. See if we can't get this thing moving. Uh, ah, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there, like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know, I'm going.
Okay, I'm in. Then let's get the hell out of here. It's taking so long. We need to pump all the water out before we take off. Can't you do it any faster? I'm almost there. All right, here we go. Hold on to something. Steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're heading for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like... Uh, it's more like a cancer. Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Bridge for impact! Hold on! The blast just push us off the plateau! What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. you again. Don't worry, Cat. I'll find a way to Theta.
can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get the data. Help me out here, will you? Hey, you. Don't worry about it. I got this. Listen. Make yourself useful. Hey, can you hear me? Give me some room, will you? trust the shuttle train anymore.
You can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set routes. Volgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. Guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Acres is set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> see you soon, Brandon. Happy evac. Peter, can you hear me? I hear you, Terry. I, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, what are you doing? We have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. See you when you get here. <laughs> You can really tell when Astrid is off platform. This place turns into such a lot of room. Not in a good way either. Transport active. Unspecified cargo. The Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. Disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. 
Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us a chip. Guess I have no choice. Okay? We really needed that chip. We, we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was... talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Tour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the dump bag, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the dump bag, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. 
Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <sighs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon. Wake up, Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The bio sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumaravi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Emma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. yourself. I mean, Strohmeyer doesn't have that kind of authority. You could just tell him to go fuck himself. Oh, I just don't. I'm not that kind of a person. You can't expect people to fight for you all the time. You're a brilliant person, Kath. You're so smart it makes my head spin, but sometimes you just disappear into yourself. Suddenly it's like talking to a fucking five-year-old. It's just hard. I can't just be more like that. Everyone would know I'm pretending. It's not too late to win people over. Strasky likes you. I like you. Reed likes you. Strasky likes everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you think Reed likes me? Catherine, a lot of people like you. You just need to open up a little. Be more approachable. Can I get back to work now? I'd rather not be reprimanded twice in one day. Okay, see you back inside. Over and out. On. Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace, Wallaby. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. That's everything, right? Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Hello? 
Who is that? Mark? No, we haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon, so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin... I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Submarine. 
There will be nothing stopping us when we have done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or a virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. cleared out. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. I have a feeling about that. close to the show station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories.
your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells. They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. Then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. Lab. Cozy. This is where I would store the ARC scans. So you saved the whole staff digitally on these chips? That was the plan. Damaged. memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Need to fix that mainframe connection. this. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Okay, that's it. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. I'm still figuring this out, so... This freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? 
crash. Everything up till now, the brain damage, you guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're grateful for earning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along, waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Uh, maser tool. What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. Keep my eyes open.
job, son. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. There should be a list of people. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. Just load him up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? How did I get here? Don't be afraid, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Everything's fine. Thaden needs your help. We need the new security cipher. Dr. Chud? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Everything is okay, Mr. Wan. Just relax. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I need your help. I have to get the new security cipher. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. It's not for me. I'm trying to save the Ark. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chun, or I'll punch your teeth in! Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did it... Alice? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Chun? Where's Alice? She's fine. We don't have much time, Mr. Wan. I need the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is a trick. Please, this is important. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data.
Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Uh -oh. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and Alvaro to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. Here. There's a note from Alice that makes me think she was scanned alongside Brandon. Okay, that sounds really promising. We can definitely use that. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. I found more evidence suggesting they were together during the scan. That's okay, Sherlock. We got it already. We should focus on simulating Brandon Wan. module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation? Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Stromar. He's sending me to the new site for ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I could talk to him. Wait, didn't Chung just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not gonna tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay, it's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. Wong. Brandon. Goodbye. Oh, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough.
Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the dive bat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The dive bat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. So now we know how to get on the Ark, right? Kind of. What? It's just I don't really know what you are. Maybe there's a way to plug you in, or maybe scan somehow. We need to figure this out before we leave. so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. The art doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. 
What's this? Oh, that's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the ark. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imaging? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Fine. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be a hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. sure the art makes it. Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. Thank you. 
Terry Akers, Chief Factor at Delta, first assessment. Brought in today, January 16, 2104. Reportedly found in his diving suit, unconscious, in open water. Akers has clearly been consuming large amounts of structure gel for weeks, probably. It's difficult to tell how this has affected his health beyond the obvious malnourishment and if it somehow caused him to gouge out his eyes. Small amounts of gel have always been considered perfectly safe to handle, but I can't recall ever hearing about any recommendations on how to treat overexposure. Considering its properties, I doubt it's poisonous, but the more transformative aspects of the thorough fluid makes me think that malign cell mutations ought to be expected. I think... I think I will need to consult Dr. Eames at Omicron about this. Brandon, what do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Don't worry, Alice. I'll be back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle and we'll be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See the show. Sorry about before, Brandon. I'm sorry we couldn't let you rest in peace.
Now what? I need to format the chip? It's okay. What? It's over now. Relax. Ashley? What are you doing here? Hanging out, like couples do. We're not... You don't want me? Yes, of course, but... What happened? We fell in love.
of the O2 surplus. She sealed the tunnel. She really didn't want acres following us to Omicron. Ah, oh, shit, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. We have to get her to Omicron. Shit, it's bad, real bad. Oh, fuck, no! They saved me in diving suit. Hey, come on! Open up! What is this shit? Armor for the apocalypse? Omicron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky, it's called a radio. They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Open up! Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. There you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. 
Trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? You got nothing? Good luck. Thanks. Kath, how are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. That's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. Be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Oh, the terminal just lit up. Boober, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. You can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um... I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. I think I solved it. Solve what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van? What are you talking about? Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going.
You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead column, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? 
It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Drasty, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Drask. It is. Okay, then. Stay safe. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? You will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Look at that. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You I heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tao, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. 
please respond, Tau? Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Came back to life. Or something like it.
What's going on? <laughs> Am I that transparent? What do you want, Molly? We're friends, right? Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Oh, what makes you... What, why would you ask that? I think Ross is trying to tell me something. About Psy Alpha? He wants me to go down to the abyss and find him. Crazy, right? You've been down there. I just thought you could talk some sense into me. Ronnie, I'm not at liberty to... I can't talk about that. What? Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus, that was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification and black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. Feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try it. Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... So... Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only a lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames, Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. 
At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her.
door. Lock it up. What's happening? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? I managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, son. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> What was that? No, I... it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer.
we done here? Yeah. Activate the clamor, please. Sure thing. flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right sign. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Catherine, what happened? Hey, I know it's not much, but why have we stopped moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. 
My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. I the offer you has been here. You're following in your own footsteps, Kat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere. Technically. Don't remind me, it freaks me out. Alright, let's head for town and find that arc. to the lamp lights. They won't go near them. I can't fail, Glasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell him yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's 
team with me and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward and the wildlife you've got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. Alright, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tau, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in.
Inside. Let's find the Ark. Welcome to Tau. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit. They all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. 
Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega Space Gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon.
anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value. You know that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. Well, I'll be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wow to take it, swallow it whole. I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going. But it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. 
The WOW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WOW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WOW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WOW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WOW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Human. Sarah Lindwall, payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon, the ruins of Lambda, the abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And uh, I'm the only living person you've met? <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun of Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. Tell you the truth, I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. Are you serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. 
That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? None of this feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Don't let me down. Would you stay with me, please? It won't be long now. Just... Please, just stay. What a crazy thing this was. Life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray! Wish I could have died at home with you. You've ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanak is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there, to the stars. The black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off.
Tell me what you want. I need you to stop the wow. What? How? The enslaved protein slushing around your suit is the news from which the wow will hang itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to the only crime, I tried to tell them to make the toxin that would make their wow with them. But they didn't understand. They put it inside the cabinet. It was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha, the fountainhead of the misery we created. And the girl, she figured it out. She was going to take care of it, but the wow shrieked. You're saying this toxin inside of me can kill the WoW? All together? You are the snake, son. Now strike at the heart. What the hell is that? The heart. It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint. And the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart.
The Ark made it here in one piece. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll have both my arms in the Ark, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Alright. Phi is up and running. Find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? assembly space so we can stuff the ark into a shell. It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the ark. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the Ark. On it. Is 
that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Come back up and we'll head out to the gun. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We made it to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Did you have friends at Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one, someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. Now what? Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then, kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you going to get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean, it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. A satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the power. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit.
never get used to that. I guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Here we go. No turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mess. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Time. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. Thought you guys would have better bandwidth. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. You gotta be kidding me! Five. Four. on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fuck! fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine?
Whoa. Is this... Did it work? Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now.